Hi everyone, Russ Douglas 222 again, and uh, something a little bit different this video. This is a short video. I've revisited Airsoft World in uh, Glenrothes in Fife. I'm just hassling the uh, ugly Duncan over here to see what he's got new. A few supply issues in the global chain, thanks Brexit, but um, he's got some stuff to show us and uh, a little different. So three years ago when I last visited this place and I included some photos in my article in Airgun World, which was related to just before Scottish airgun licensing came in. And it was all about if you have an airgun and you don't want to get a license, you have to give up your airgun. Perhaps Airsoft is a solution. And you've got various airguns, including these realistic ones over my shoulder, and they're riffs for realistic imitation firearm, as opposed to gaudy colours, which would be imitation firearm, if. So there are different, slightly different power levels and restrictions these days which I'll put some, I'll put a link to down below. I'm sure Duncan can give me a, a link. I can follow some more information for you all. But perhaps if, if there's a lead ban coming up in four or five years, if, hopefully, hopefully not, but if there is a lead ban, perhaps some of us will get more into airsoft and enjoy that on ranges. And uh, it's an alternative. So just a little intro here. And then Duncan's got one or two things you can show us. So uh, let's get to it. So, recording. Hi Duncan. So this is Duncan at Airsoft World. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you today? Yeah, pretty good, thank you. And what have you got new for us? Well, this is the Action Army AAP-01 and realistically in Airsoft it's been a phenomenon. This has outsold anything we have ever seen, mostly because it's cheap, it's cheerful and boy does it work. Excellent. The and and you just showed me something as a modular version of it. <laughs> yes, well, that's one modular version. There are a number of different options that okay. you can do. The, the, when they designed this, they based it off the Ruger. So it actually has a functioning bolt, just right. like the Ruger. Whereas most airsoft pistols prior, the entire slide moved, or they were non-blowback. Yeah. Because of... The bolt itself being the only thing that moves, it means you can bolt things on, you can adapt it, you can change it, and yeah. it just works. Brilliant. As a result, you can do things like this kit, where there's an internal frame which is currently screwed in place. That screws onto the top of the pistol. Yep. You can drop the entire thing in and turn it into an MP7. Right. Complete and you've got with functional charging handle and just like you would expect if I can get it to operate stock stock cool compact little uh, machine pistol mm. and you've got you show me some snail magazines for it yes this is due for release this year this is uh, Action Army's 350 round gas magazine right and it's designed to go straight into obviously the AAP-01. Right, so the, the, the BBs are held in the magazine. Is the yeah. gas also held in the magazine? Everything is held within the magazine. Right. You gas it through the base. Okay. To fill, you just pop it open. Right, pour, pour in the BBs, BBs in. And unlike most magazines which are wound, this is called a flash magazine. It's a quick wind. Oh, light's just gone out. <laughs> Two seconds, I'll grab that. It's just saving, but uh, yeah, ridiculous. So, okay, so we have a self powered bulk mag um, yeah. that fits the pistol. Um, the pistol, you, we're not going to fire it, but the pistol is semi automatic but also fires full automatic. Selector on the underside, selector in there. It can be fitted to a stock, turning it to a machine pistol with a, a retractable stock, uh, like a carbine, and we have what I thought when I saw it was a Star Wars blaster based on the Sterling submachine gun, which you've sold before. But this, yeah. this again has, takes a modular pistol. This is the same pistol. It's got a slightly different lower frame, but it'll take both frames. And it fits straight inside and is clamped between the two halves, giving you this unique display piece. Right. This is simply a holder for the magazine. 
So where the stock used to, where the machine pistol stock used to stick out the side, that's now a mag holder. Yep. Awesome. When they redesigned, because um, it's it's based on uh, a film prop, uh, they took the stock magazine from the Sterling, which was on this side, yep. and moved it over. Right. Um, and that's so uh, when you're at attention, it doesn't hit off uh, any armour you might be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, that's both brilliant. I love it. So again, that's can be that can be fed with a single mag or with the bulk mag with the gas yep and again that's some beastie <laughs> so this for airsoft reenactments and such like or as we as we all know it could be garden plinkers who knows yep. um but uh, that's that's a very cool take on the old star wars blaster well it gets better because there's enough space internally when you're fitting the kit if you take out some of the internal baffles, which are there, you're able to fit in one of the very small tracer units. Right. And depending on the tracer unit you fit, you could have green or red tracer BBs, so you too can have uh, <clears throat> what looks like laser fire. Brilliant. And tracer BBs glow in the dark. There they are. So, yep. awesome. <laughs> You can be as uh, silly as you want to be. Yes, you, or as realistic as you want to be. That each, each to their own. That's fantastic. Right, and there's one, there's one pistol I saw in the Airsoft World cabinets over here that uh, I've just spotted a bling version of. It's one I already own, the Robocop Auto 9, which is based on the Breta M93R gas op uh, select fire pistol. And Duncan's just got the, the bling one to show us. And lo and behold, check this for a bling pistol. So this is the Gas Op Beretta M93R, tarted up via the Hollywood treatment into Robocop's Auto 9 pistol. So uh, what can you tell us about it, Duncan? Uh, well, it was done by KSC again out of Japan, and it is a limited edition version of the pistol you own. Brilliant. So you, I bought this. I bought one of these a few years ago. I bought the if the imitation. Sorry, I yeah, I bought the if version, which has got a speckled uh, purple finish, and uh, very subtle, very discreet. And I also bought the three shot burst additional kit, so which Duncan kindly fitted, and okay. and uh, yeah, so this fires full auto, three shot burst or single shots, gas operated. Although being in Scotland, obviously. We, uh, we're a little bit limited temperature-wise to the time of year that, that these are actually really viable. But the one I've got in summer, it will place BBs onto targets at nearly 50 metres, which is brilliant. So, can any of you recognise this fella? Can anyone say, uh, well, wrong, although it's the wrong stock, can anyone say yippee ki -yay and fill in the missing word at the end of that from Bruce Willis? Um, so this is a, such a favourite, isn't it, Duncan? Oh yeah. Um, so this is the airsoft. Oh, that's nice and weighty. So this is the airsoft version of the MP5. I guess this is the A2, is it? A4. A4, right? Okay. With a fixed stock, uh, adjustable front. Re oh, sorry, adjustable rear sight. Um, mag well there. You've got the fire selector. So this is—is is this gas up or electric? This one's electric, and it's unique. Right, how's it unique? This is produced by a company called Bolt Airsoft, and they actually... Yeah, so, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, they uh, produce recoil rifles. Brilliant, I'd heard of that, this. I've heard about this, and I've read it on Airsoft World Net we website. Yeah. But, so, this as well as being a, a semi-realistic weight, isn't it? Yes. Um, it's also got a mechanical recoil. The, it does indeed. The body itself is... Uh, pressed and stamped steel. Right, like the real thing. Welded just exactly the same as the real thing. So you yep. actually see those weld points yep. uh, on the front. Yep. Awesome. They use steel components for the majority. So unlike a number of replicas, you can do the <laughs> HK slap. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, selectable, semi and fully automatic. Right. And the nice feature being the recoil itself. Yes, so you actually feel recoil in your shoulder. Oh yes, <laughs> but I have to caveat, while it's recoil, it's back to front recoil. Right, okay, <laughs> it's reverse recoil. It's reverse recoil. Uh, in Airsoft, what we do is we actually pull the weight back 
and then when the piston fires, the weight is thrown forward. Yeah. So the recoil is actually going forward. Yes. On fully automatic, though, you're trying to hold it in place, so it feels like recoil. Yeah, brilliant. Excellent. So, yeah, this is on my wish list, viewers, for, if I can ever afford it, for a back garden plinker. Whether I would go for a black one, uh, if I was a member of Yukara, if I was a regular player, or whether I went for a two-tone, um, if, which would be back garden legal for me as a non-Yukara member. Either way, I, I this is on my wish list. This is on my lifelong wish, wish list as a pistol. It's just one of those must-haves. Having been a fan of Die Hard, it's the ultimate Christmas movie. It's the only Christmas movie. I can't stand Christmas otherwise. But um, yeah, this is this is one of the pistols to own, one of the the uh, guns. So yeah, and of course, I would be as always. I would be fueling it with biodegradable BBs. Although as we were just discussing, biodegradable technically might be in 99 years. Yes, unfortunately. So there are versions coming in that are more rapidly biodegradable. There are. There's, I think, one company currently producing a biodegradable BB that will go within three to six months. However, the majority are actually PLA, polylactic acid, which take 80 to 100 years in ideal conditions. <laughs> which is 26 degrees and humid. And soil. Yeah, and soil. <laughs> so if you live in a rainforest, they will be biodegradable. Perfectly. When your grandchildren grow up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, this is such a beauty. Um, yeah, this is permanently on my wish list. So uh, when I can afford it, I'm getting one of these. Um, anyway, thank you very much for your time. You're more than welcome. And, Always uh, good to see you. Yeah, likewise. And I will be back. So cheers. <laughs> Take care.